Now, a lot of people will tell you when it gets really cold outside to slow down and be very methodical with your fishing, but not today. We're about to speed things up. Guys, we've got a big cold front that's moved in in late November here. But let me tell you, when the going gets tough, it's time to bring out the Smith Wicks. This right here is the Super Rogue Junior. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, there's another one with him. Oh, they're fighting over it. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Come on in here, big guy. There he is. I'm gonna put this guy back here. The reason I love throwing this bait so much is this small slender like profile. It kind of resembles a minnow a little bit. That allows that bait to dart all over the place and get all kinds of action and these fish just go crazy over it. Got him on the jerk. There he is. Nice little guy. Good color on him. So we're gonna make a little bit of a color change here. I noticed the water is really, really clear, and these fish are going after this bait when it flicks and shines. So we're gonna go with a bait that's got a little bit more shine. This is clown color. This should get us a few more bites. The Super Rug Junior is just light enough where you really can't throw it on a bait caster and get the distance you need, but it's just heavy enough to where you really shouldn't throw it on an ultralight either. So this is where I kind of like to meet halfway in the middle. What I'm throwing it on right now is a 6'8 medium fast action rod spooled with 20 pound braid and an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. So the reason I like throwing this on braid actually is because you get a really, really good snap. Now when you snap that rod, it's really responsive to the lure, gives that bait more action and less stretch as you would with just pure fluorocarbon or monofilament. Oh, there's one. Gosh, you clobbered that. Man, this is a little nicer one, too. There he is. Ooh, man, he hit that thing a ton. Now, another big advantage of working your bait really aggressive is being able to cover a lot more water. Because of this, you're not pausing that bait out there for long periods of time. So you're gonna be able to make more casts, cover a lot more water, and get your bait in front of more fish. This is unreal, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. Another one, man. Well, that's a chunky one too. That is why it's so important to work these baits so aggressive. These fish, they're curious. It's in their DNA to swim right up to a wounded bait. And the faster you work that, the more erratic it is, the more likely they are to trigger on a reaction strike. working this bait aggressively, don't be shy. You want to have your rod tip facing down just like that and jerk it three or four or five times even in a row. That's going to make that bait dance in the water. You want that bait to have as much action as possible to trigger those strikes. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh my goodness. Gosh, this is so much fun. Oh, come here, dude. I'm telling you, 
If you guys ever have a cold day and conditions are tough, grab you a Super Rogue Junior and have some fun.